Today, I'm going to be sharing with you seven websites you need to know as an artist. If you're feeling stuck or need some inspiration, these websites will definitely help you out. When you're new to art, it can be very tricky to know where to start out, so I hope this video will give you some good websites to check out. All these websites are free to use and can benefit you if you're a beginner or an expert or if you're anywhere in between. All the links will be in the description below. If you want to see a part 2, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I've got tons of other resources that I can put you guys onto. Coming up first, we have lineofaction.com. This one is quite popular, you might have heard of it already, but I thought I'd include it in here anyways because it can be super helpful. Line of Action is great for studying and practicing different things. It has a section for figure drawing, which is the one that I use most, for drawing animals, hands and feet, expressions and environments. They have different options you can choose from. For example, if you go into figure drawing, you can choose if you want cloth models or nude, if you want male or female, and for how long the reference will stay on the screen. What I like to do most is set it to class mode. So what it will do, it will show a bunch of references starting from 30 seconds each to 60 seconds and 5 minutes, and then moving up to 10 minutes, all within the course of one hour. This just helps me focus a little more. So if you aren't using this website already, you need to start. Another website that is very similar to Line of Action is sketchdaily.net. What I found to be different is that Sketch Daily has more action poses than a Line of Action, and it has a bit more specific options for you to choose from when it comes to figure drawing. You can also choose if you want to reference from the front or the back, or maybe even a very specific one from above or from below. So I really like this website if I'm looking for more action poses like these. Next up, we have characterreferences.com. So this one is super cool. Like the name says, it has more references that are more character design focused. I recently found this site and I wish I knew about it sooner. It's really great for getting inspiration. So if you're feeling stuck or you have art block, you don't really know what to draw, this website can really inspire you. There is a lot to look through on this one, but my favorite has to be in the library directory, which can be found under the visual library. And here it has tons of compilations of very specific references sorted out into different Pinterest boards. It has everything from character sheets, concept art, animals, environments, tutorials, there's really a lot. You, I could spend hours on this website. It even has an index all the way at the bottom that can be super helpful. And it has educational and job resources if you're looking to make this your career or if you just want to learn a little bit more about art. Next up is animation screen caps. This one is really cool and it might be one of my favorites. This page has a vast library of animated movies from Disney, Studio Ghibli, DreamWorks, and a lot more. It has the entire movie in images. So every second is a frame and every frame is in this website. This is great when you want to study from your favorite animated movie, but you can't take screenshots on sites like Netflix or Disney+. Plus. Just look at these images I found from Moana. I definitely will have to redraw these in my style later. I also love this site for saving some of these images and making them my wallpapers for my laptop and phone. So it's a great site altogether. If you're looking for movie scenes that aren't animated, then I recommend ShotDeck.com. It has the largest collection of fully searchable, high-definition movie images. Once you find an image that you like, it also shows you the color palette from that image, and you can search for more images from each color in that color palette, which I found pretty cool. This website isn't completely free, but it does offer a two-week free trial. All you have to do is sign up with your email, you don't even need to put your payment information, and you're good to go. Next up is coolers.co. This website might be my most used website out of all of them. Coolers is a color palette generator. It will create for you random color palettes and you can also create your own gradients, extract palettes from images. You can even search for trending color palettes and a lot more. I used this site for making my grayscale to color challenge series a while back which I do have a tutorial for if you're curious about how I did that. The link will be up in the corner and it will be in the description below as well. This site even shows you the hex code for each color 
And if you have the pro version, it will also show you the Prisma color and the Copert marker that best matches the color in each palette. I personally stick to the free version, which already has a lot of things available. Lastly, we have ColorMethod.ac. This is a color matching game and it will essentially help you with your color perception skills. It starts off easy and it gets more and more difficult as you go. You start by matching hues and gradually progressing to more difficult tasks that involve saturation, complementary colors, and more. It's a fun game that will sharpen your color matching abilities and help you develop a more discerning eye for color accuracy. And that is pretty much it! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you learn anything, and let me know in the comments below which was your favorite website. I'm going to be linking every website down below in the description for you guys. And since you like this video, you will love this one where I talk about what the best accessories are for making digital art. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.